So here's your, your, um, here's your summary evaluation score of 54, right? Here's your T-score distribution, okay, normalized distribution. The average at 50, 10 is the standard deviation. You can just imagine that. When you look at the graph, you're basically looking at a norm distribution here. So your gray bar is within a standard deviation of 50. And that's a middle 40. That's going to be 40% of the scores um, of the comparison group. And so when you are in the when you are in the band that says higher, you are statistically you're a standard deviation above. You're above a standard deviation, statistically higher than the average. Okay, and then you have a high as 10%. Or lowest. Or you have a lower and you have a lowest. Correct. But I, um, my professional opinion is that this is, has the potential to be superior to our older system. Um, I know that there were a number of departments and colleges that took it upon themselves to, to factor in standard deviation when they were looking at scores compared to the departmental norms, but there were a number of departments within the institution that didn't do that. And so I had, I heard anecdotally stories of people getting called on the carpet because they were 0.1 below the departmental average in their class when the sample size was small and the number of classes being reviewed was small and the standard deviation was large and um, sort of post facto I found that uh, troubling at times. Um, so I think it's nice to have a system where they made the adjustment. Now this adjustment for the T-score is made not just at the level of the sum of the learning objectives but for each individual learning objective. That is to say the learning objectives, the 12 learning objectives have different normed averages. Some are easier to achieve than others. And they make the adjustment at the level of each individual learning objective, not at the level of the, of the sum. So I, I feel like actually the, the converted average, the T-score, is a little more accurate for comparison purposes than looking at the raw score. Because if you happen to have picked uh, a set of three learning objectives that are more difficult to achieve, whose average are like 3.8, let's say, um, compared to an average that's 4.2 if you pick three other ones, you're looking at those raw scores, you're not going to know them unless you really understand the system or call my office. So um, I'm trying to promote the idea that we might want to look at T-scores as our point of comparison.